Hey everyone, how are you? It's me, Daddy May. It is day 11 of Vlogmas, and here I am. It is... <sighs> yeah, it's Tuesday, and I am just now here recording this video. I just got home a little bit ago from volunteering at Exodus Place. It is 8.25 p.m. <laughs> um... So, I didn't do much video at all today. I, I didn't do any video at all today, till now. Um, and I am actually sitting in my bedroom. Um, so, today started out fine. I went to Girl Talk, which is my Bible study group. And that went well. Um, but... I got an email from my credit union where my car loan is and um I had been trying to get a hold of them through email um because I don't have a phone right now and on Saturday I actually did try calling them with my daughter's phone um but of course payment solutions are not in the office on Saturday so I could only talk to to um, customer service or member services. Um, anyway, I think I said before that they had been calling my ex about trying to find the car. I'm not trying to hide it. I've had it here. I don't, I don't know. Anyway, so the supervisor of payment solutions finally emailed me back and basically said, we need to know where the car is right away. And we need you to call Monday through Friday between nine and four or something, um, to answer your questions. We are not here on Saturdays. And anyway, so I immediately, my anxiety went, whew, and I started getting scared, and I mean, I know full well I am behind on my payments. There's no surprise to me. I did not intend on being divorced this year. I did not intend on being unemployed more than employed, um... I did not intend on being so far behind on every bill I have. Um, I did not intend on having the power go out. I did not intend on having my phone being shut off. I did not intend on a lot of the stuff that has happened to me this year. Um, so, you know, my anxiety went up. So I took one of my anxiety pills. And I came in my room and I just cried and prayed and asked for prayer on Facebook. Um, just, I didn't like say bye or anything, but now here I am blabbing about it. But anyway, so who knows? Right now, my daughter is actually using my car um, because it runs better than hers. And she had to go run my run her cousin around and take her out to dinner for her birthday. So, anyway. Um... So yeah, there are times when I think, dang, why couldn't I have gotten spousal support? You know, why? Sometimes I think I wish I could go and get spousal support now because he's the one that's working. His name is still on the loan. But anyway. So I just cried and 
cried out to God and prayed for a miracle. Um, so I don't know what's going to happen. I have no idea. But I also texted my friend, one of my my friends, and just said, I don't know what, I don't know what's going to happen. I don't know what to do. I don't know, you know. And the worst part is it's all happening right before Christmas. All of this is just the timing is horribly awful. So anyway, I came in my room and I just <sighs> vented to God, to my friend, to my aunt a little bit. Um, and then I, uh, played some games. I've got myself into some games on online again, um, best fiends and words with friends, um, and calmed myself down. And then, um, I volunteered tonight at Exodus place and that really helped me. Um, Exodus place is a home for men. Um, they that they'd otherwise be homeless and um they had christmas dinner christmas party tonight so they had a good dinner um a very good portion of ham mashed potatoes um green bean casserole and a salad and then dessert um and of course beverages coffee water whatever um and I got to scoop green bean casserole. That was my job. And um, and then after that, I um, mingled and conversed with some of the residents. I said Merry Christmas and Happy New Year to as many as I could. And um, I met some other volunteers from other um, areas. Um, and it was just, it was amazing. It was an amazing feeling to serve those less fortunate and even though I myself am in a bad way um there's always those that are worse off and uh so it made my heart feel good to do that and to be there and um they did a raffle drawing for the residents they raffled off a tv and a tablet and the guy that won the tv he um gave me a hug and said Merry Christmas and um and it was just it was just an awesome awesome experience and I know that I will be back there again one day to volunteer again um I know they they did a dinner at Thanksgiving I know they do a summer party um and I know that there's other opportunities to volunteer as well um so um, that's my calling is to help other people. So, especially since people have been there for me right now, people f through my church, through North Kent Connect, um, through others, I mean, I got to give back. So it was an awesome experience and it really helped lift my spirits. So, um, yeah, it was, it was, it was just awesome 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 um to be able to talk to these guys and some of them oh excuse me you know some of them don't have family some of them you know who knows what their christmas is going to be like and this was just awesome to have to be able to help serve an excellent meal um and dessert brownie and ice cream chocolate syrup and then they each got, all of them got a present, um, which was a nice size, like, laundry basket filled with, like, hats and mittens and laundry soap and, um, things that they need. Um, it was just an amazing thing. So, um, if you ever have the opportunity to volunteer, I say go for it. Um, it's just an awesome experience and I'm so glad that I did it so so glad that I did it so anyway um I have my earrings on the ones that are made of pine needles 
and they don't they're not heavy they don't hurt my ears I really like them so anyway that's it wherever you are I wish you peace love and happiness and prayers and good thoughts for me would be would be nice and prayers for all those out there who are in much worse situations than I am and um I will see you tomorrow. Bye-bye.